Health Minister Matt Hancock has warned the government's timeline for unlocking coronavirus restrictions won't be sped up and could even be slowed as ministers remain vigilant against infection rates. The Health Minister went on to say it's too, too early to say how long social distancing will be in place for and everyone has their part to play to meet the dates for England's lockdown to be eased. This comes after Boris Johnson revealed a four-stage roadmap for lifting restrictions yesterday, with a five-week gap between each stage. Meanwhile, First Minister Nicola Sturgeon will lay out her plan for easing the lockdown in Scotland later. The return of face-to-face -face education, sports activities for young people and limited social interaction for adults will be among the priorities. The unemployment rate has risen again in the UK. New figures show it increased to 5.1% in the three months to December. 726,000 fewer people are on company payrolls than before the start of the pandemic. So a disproportionate impact on the young and of course many of them learned today with the roadmap that their prospects of employment in hospitality and leisure and such like have not improved. They can't think about these places reopening and offering them a job until April at the earliest. Boris Johnson has said climate change is a grave security threat as he prepares to chair a United Nations Security Council session on Tuesday. Sir David Attenborough will also speak at the event in Glasgow due to be attended by dozens of world leaders. The talks are likely to be the most significant since the Global Paris Agreement was secured in 2015. And finally, psychologists have warned the idea that children must catch up due to the loss of learning is heaping huge pressure on them. With all schools expected back on the 8th of March, the British Psychological Society says children's well-being rather than their learning should be the focus. The government said it was funding support for pupils' mental health well-being and have appointed a catch-up SAR to lead educational recovery.